Today in our 2015 Toyota Corolla, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Draw Tight Sport Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is a custom fit class 1 hitch and it's going to offer an inch and a quarter opening. Part number is 24913. Here's what the hitch is going to look like once you get it put on your Corolla. It's a nice clean looking hitch. It offers the round tube design which I like because it's a little bit softer. Um, not quite so blocky and bulky which kind of goes with the car. Um, this is going to be a very easy install to do. You can do this with a 3 quarter or 19 millimeter socket and a wrench. That's all you're going to need. You don't have to take anything down. You don't have to remove anything. You don't have to cut anything. Two bolts here, two bolts here, torque them to specification, and you're heading down the road. The hitch is a class one, so this is going to work for your bike racks up to two bikes. You can get three or four bike racks, five bike racks if you want, but you're limited to a two bike capacity. So you can kind of cross them from one vehicle to another, but you don't want to exceed the recommendation for the hitch. Now this is recommended for 200 pounds of maximum tongue weight capacity. It's rated for 2,000 pounds of gross trailer weight capacity. But we do want to look into the manual of the Corolla certainly, see what it's rated for. Don't want to exceed any kind of manufacturer's limits. You're going to have a half inch diameter pinhole that comes through. Works great with any of the class one locks, anti-rattle bolts, things like that. Then of course safety chain connection points here on each side if you're going to be hauling. These can also come in handy for securing some bike racks or bikes to the vehicle, things such as that. Now a couple of important measurements that are helpful in selecting your ball mount bike rack or maybe hitch cargo carrier. They're going to be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. We've got about 11 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about two. Now let's take a look at the attachment points we're going to be using for our hitch install. Start with on the driver's side, we've got two weld nuts right here in the very back. We're going to be using those. To clean those out, we're going to use a little bit of spray lubricant and also a nylon tube brush. This is just going to go up in there. It's going to clean out any of the little rocks or dirt that might be built up in those threads over time. All right, then we'll check them out with our bolts. Here are the bolts we're going to be using. We'll have four of these for the two connection points on this side, two connection points on the other side. We've got a washer that's got some teeth on it. We just want to make sure that faces up towards our hitch when we install it. For now, we're just going to use it to check our threads, make sure they're nice and clean, and our bolts are going to start fine. All right, now you see that one looks like it's kind of angled back just slightly, so keep that in mind when you're trying to start it in your hitch. It's got a small backwards angle to it. You're not cross-threading it. It's just kind of the way that weld nut's in there. Now with the, pa with the driver's side taken care of, let's hit the two here on the passenger side. They're going to be in the same location. It looks a little different because of the exhaust pipe, but they'll be right above it right there and there. All right, that's perfect. All four of them start fine, don't have any issues. Now we'll grab our hitch and raise it into position. Now we're going to raise our hitch right up over our exhaust here. We can allow it to rest there for just a second. Put one of our bolts in. Let's get that started. All right, with that started on the passenger side, we'll head over to the driver's side and get one started over here. All right, now we can allow the hitch to rest there. We'll grab our other two fasteners and get those started. All right, now we'll take a quick look just to be sure we have our hitch centered. Then we'll snug our bolts down. All right, with them snug down, let's grab our torque wrench and set them to the specifications that we can find in our instructions. With our bolts torqued to specification, that's going to complete today's installation of the Draw Tight Sports Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver. This is a Class 1, part number 24913 on our 2015 Toyota Corolla.